Okay, what else do we got? Where am I? Is this guy. <clears throat> this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner, but we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. If the wind blew in the right direction again, we'd have to play the power switch to get it moving. Looks like a westerly wind is blowing now. I see, so later on we could turn it on. I could write it up, but there's probably an item up there or something. Okay. Holy shit, what a jump. Alright. What's this? Whoa. Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. A new, new, new pupil? What can I do for you? We need to talk. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, the little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Alright. <clears throat> Good luck. I gotta find this kid Ivan. Huh. You stink, mister. We ain't seen your face around here before, bud. Whoa. Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, do you? Don't tell me it's that annoying Haga teacher again, is it? You came here to make us give a talking because Miss Marie asked you to, right? Well, tell us not to skip school, not to be tardy. Forget about all that. We're mining an invincible gang of four, the killer bees. You think we listen to a chump like you? But I'll tell you what, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening to you a little bit. What do you say? Let's do it. All right, the rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere. If you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta catch us. Easy as that. We won't hide indoors, and we won't leave this island. Okay. It's a hide and seek, huh? see him anywhere around here. I do see a, 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 what do you call it, a vase down there I didn't break. Wait a minute, here he is. Got him. Whoa. Now that's not fair. No! Oh my god! Well, now I lost the kid because the stupid idiot would talk to me. What? How do I catch him? There we go. You're awesome. One down. You're pretty good. I wonder if you catch four of us at this rate. Okay. Well, one down. in here. Who's this guy? Now, we have to say that I've never seen your face before, have I? Hmm, how intriguing, beguiling. I know you're just a small child, but I found one way one could really trust strangers. Where is it you've come from, young sir? 
I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary once. Long ago, I rented a room out to the Traveler for a single night. The next dawn, my precious Picto box was stolen. They caught the scoundrel, yet my possession remains outside my grasp. Perhaps it will rot forever with him in his cell. Why are good deeds often repaid with cruelty? <laughs> you may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy and be gone. Shoo. I wonder if he's talking about Tingle. It's countless Picto boxes, he says. <laughs> you must be talking about Tingle. Right, I gotta find these other kids who are hiding. People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say this is the island where people and money come together, but you know what? Money is important, sure, but don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Huh, good point. I have to agree with them. Nice. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me, yes there was, but I dare say he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Could you see so kindness to help free him from his captivity? He's talking about Tingle. You look like a curious boy. Did you know there's an island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a bright tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who's never left this little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if only I had my own boat. Wow, 20 rupees right there. Boom. Oh, there's another one over here, look. Alright, I gotta keep my eyes peeled for these kids. I'm sure some of them probably went back to the beginning of the town, so let's look around here. Oh, wow. Oh? Oh, boy, you brave young boy. You promised to rescue my daughter Maggie. Hurry, you must hurry. You can't dawdle. I'm so very worried about my daughter. I can't sleep at night. Please do whatever you can. I plead. I'm counting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. back over there. Oh, shit, no! Oh, you crazy... Oh. Link is an asshole. Maybe one of them came down to the cave. No, I don't think so. Okay. Double checking. <laughs> Rupees. Well, there's Tingle who I have to free. 
Here's that kid. So one of them I found. I gotta find the others. Let's go up. Ow! Shit. Not here. Anything. Shit. 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 Dicks. Bit. Dick. Shit. <laughs> I've suddenly acquired Tourette's. Shit. And dicks. And shit. Let's go check this out over here. Maybe, maybe there's one over here behind the freaking gravestone. Ah! You're mine, boy. Get back here. You're mine. Hello. What the hell? He did a suicide leap. Oh, are you ever going to let me chase this kid or what? Get back here. Oh, you asshole. You juked me. This kid's going to play college football one day. Got him. Woo. God, you got me. You ain't nice. All right, I gotta look for more. Two down, two to go. Where could they be hidden? Oh, there's, look at that. There's a kid up there. Is that him? How do I get him down? Maybe I gotta like slash the tree. Would you? Oh my God! Shut up. The slashing didn't work. What about rolling? No, I don't want to talk to this guy. Oh! Aha! I got him. I gotta catch him. What? No! Oh my god! Stop talking to this guy! Shit! Got him. All right, you got me. No way. All right, there's one left. Oh my God, this guy did it again. He won't leave me alone. Oh. All right, I'm gonna check out the backyard of this bomb, the, the bomb store. There's pots over there I never touched before. I get the feeling he's hiding over here. Could be wrong. I was right, look at this. Get back here. Little shit. Come here. You're mine. I'm gonna roll right in here. Got him. Yes. I got them all. I can't believe it. You found all four of us and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seek and skills, here, take this, bud. A piece of heart. Nice. Uh, this is our favorite possession, but you're proving that you're worthy. The hide-and-seek master. And one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Marie for us, alright? We're counting on you. Alright, she's right here. What can I do for you on this fine day? You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy and I have to reward you, so here's a little spare change. A purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. 
Don't tell anybody, dear. Huh. Alright, so I got 50 rupees and a heart piece. Sweet. That's how it's done. Sounds like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Ms. Marl. Or Miss Marie, sorry. Speaking of Bud, did you know it's gonna be Ms. Marie's birthday soon? Boss, ooh, boss, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teacher loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What you into these days? What you call them, joy pendants? Oh, I have one. Really, where do you find them? Are they just lying around? We could just find some, we could give them to teach as a present, and she'd be all happy. When I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe that's one of the pendants. What do you think, boss? It's crazy talk. Oh god, here we go again. Oh my god. So I gotta just roll into all the trees in town until I find a pendant. They're all following me. Not that one. Not that one. Ouch. That was my head. Not that one. Two trees here. Nope. Aha! You got a joy pendant. Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pine. It's solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon, so we're thinking of giving her a present. It was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't be going around giving presents to people. No way. That just don't fit the Killer Beast style. Come on, bud, can you give it to the teach for us? Can you? It's not like we could ask anyone to do it for us, either. We gotta be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we can ask, bud. Oh, I guess we gotta give these things to Miss Marie. Alright. A lot of side quests in this town, huh? Damn. This is like a, a branching arc of side quests. What the hell? He got stuck. Okay. What can I do for you? We need to talk. What the hell? They won't let me give them to her. What? Why not? Uh... What do I do? Huh. Can I maybe put it in my inventory? Hold on. There we go. Aha! My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that, why, that's extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. Okay, so it's a collect quest, of course. If I get 20, I'd probably get something. Oh, she gave me a red rupee. Nice. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so I need 18 more and she'll give me something good, I guess. Alright. 
Well, I think that's it. The only thing left to do in town is uh, free tingle now, right? Where do I go to do that? I forgot. Not this way. This way. No? Where the hell's Tingle? Stupid fuck, where are you? Shit. Anything over here? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't find this ladder yet. Where does this go? What the hell's all the way up here? A switch. Alright, so when the wind changes direction eventually, which isn't now, obviously, I need to go hit that switch later and it might act activate the windmill. Gotcha. Where the hell's Tingle? Not here either. This is the wrong way. Shit. I need to find Tingle. Free him from his cell. <clears throat> Here it is. All right. 